If you are an absolute beginner and want to learn Blender, this is the right video for you. Cause in this video, I am going to explain Blender in just 20 minutes. So let's get started. So first of all, when you open up Blender, you will get something like this. Here you see all the recent files, but it's if it's your first time in Blender, you won't see anything here. So you can start the Blender by just clicking on the general or you can click any around here. And if you want to see the screen back, you can come up here to the splash screen to this blender logo and click on the splash screen and you will get the things back you can see all these uh, menus here like 2d animation sculpting vfx and video editing so it's for the different purposes you will get that kind of stuff for that for the general view you can just click on general and you will get this file now first of all i will show you what's going on here so this is the th 3d man view where we will be creating and editing all the objects and models and animation here so here's the outline of this uh, menu that we have camera cube and lights that that's the three things that we have here here is the object properties panel where you see all the things that we will talk in the next moment and here are some navigations so let's first start from the navigation so there are two ways to navigate in blender the first thing is that here here you see all the navigations so from this one uh, if i left click and hold i can just rotate like this and there are three directions same it is in the real world which is the z x and y that we have so if i click on z it comes to the uh, top view from y it's the right view and from x is the front view so you can see all the uh, directions here from this one we can actually zoom in and zoom out with the left click like this and with this one we can actually pin with this one we can see the camera view that what we see in the camera and this is the orthographic view if you want to change that we we don't need to change this for now so let's make it like this okay the same things can be happen with the mouse and the short keys so for the first one uh, which is rotating around the object it's the metal click and for the views like front top and that we can use the numpad one for the front view the number three for the right view and the numpad seven for the top view and again we can do something like this with the shift and middle click actually you can pin around things and with the numpad zero you can see through the camera so that's the really basic navigations after navigation the first thing that we are going to uh, learn is the selecting the object so you can select the objects from the outliner that we have here so uh, we can select like camera cube and light that's the three things that we have in the 3d scene and also you can click directly on the object to select that to select multiple stops you can just shift and select that object to select multiple and to deselect you can just click over here if you have like selected this kind of stuff you can just click here anywhere here and it will deselect or you can just control and drag to just deselect that also there are a couple of more ways to select like circle so you can select it with circle or you can select it with lasso or you can do the box selection which is the default one now the third thing to learn is the transformation of our objects so if we click on any objects as you can see in the properties uh, panel uh, with the object properties you can actually see all the things here the first thing is the location so we have uh, the object location on the three directions we, if we want to change the x y and z so you can change it from here you can change uh, this transformation for almost anything that you want it uh, with the left click pressed i can change it and with the right click i can just reset that so you can do the same things like rotation also as you can see from the cube and it's also in the three direction and the same thing is here the scale so you can change the scale of the object in the three directions from here by just increasing this value you can do the same things from here by just clicking on the arrow key and as you can see now we get the arrow so you can just access to that and also there is arrows for 
uh, there are gizmos for like rotation so now you can rotate that in that directions and there are also for scale and the good one is the transform one so you can get all in one so i can just move the objects around i can scale that and i can move that so you can get all the things in just one here blender is great now for the good short keys so we always use the short keys so for the for the all the three things we can actually use short keys so for the first one which is the location we use g for grabbing so if we click on g as you can see it's grabbing a free in the 3d but if you want to give uh, the best thing is that we can give and directions like y so we can we are locked in y and then x so we are locked in x and with the left click i can confirm and z is for the up and down direction so we can see all the things here and i can confirm it like this so g y g x and with the left click i am going to confirm that and for the rotation let me just control z for the undo and with the r you can actually rotate that but again this rotation is free rotation but if you want to give any direction you can give directions like y so it will only rotate on the y and x only rotating on the x and z only rotating on the z direction so that's the three things now for the scale we can actually press s and you can scale that and again same things like y x y scaling and x scaling and z scaling so you can add these keys you can see all the keys here so it's easy for you to just see along so the next thing that we are going to learn is adding and deleting objects so by clicking uh, right click and come up here to delete you can actually delete anything So you have to first select that thing and then right click and delete that but if you are don't want to use this thing we can also use a short key for it and the short key is x for deleting any object so you can just select an object and x to delete that also you can use the delete button if you want it with the delete button you can delete it directly but with the x you will get this confirmation menu so you can actually select on delete and it will confirmly delete that now let's talk about adding objects so you can come up here to the add and then click on mesh and you can see all the objects that we are that we can add here so the first thing is plane so you, as you can see it's a simple plane and we can delete that with the x and confirm that delete and we can again add a cube or there are a lot a lot of objects that you can add so you can just try i really love the monkey head so as you can see it's kind of like this object okay the same things can be do with the short key which is shift a and come up here to the mesh and you can add all these options that we can add from here shift a so now let's learn about the cursor that we have here so we can change the cursor location by just coming up here to the cursor and left click that and there is also in short key for that which is shift and right click so with shift right click you can actually uh, change that cursor you have to we can just come up here and make the selection to the box selection again so it's the default and now with the shift right click you can actually change the location for the cursor so what's the uh, cursor do is that cursor do a lot of stuffs for for example if we have cursor here and now shift a and add a cube so as you can see the cube will be added the any, any object that we edit will be on the cursor so you can use that if you want if you i want to like uh, add a spare here so shift right click and shift a and now add a spare so it, the spare is now on the top of the box so that's what we can do with the cursor for now and if you want to reset the cursor to the middle so you can shift and s and make the cursor to the word origin so your cursor move up here so now let's learn about some pivot points and origins so for example shift a and add a cube so we have this cube and as you can see if i now rotate that it rotate from the mid because the pivot point is set to median point 
but we can change that for example we change it into 3d cursor and now shift right click to move the cursor here and now rotate that so as you can see our cube will now rotate from that and you can see with the s it will scale from this and also the grab will uh, change somehow according to these things but as you can see if i move the cursor here so it will now rotate from this th from this thing so that's how we can change the pivot point of any object you can also change it to a lot of things like active elements so now if i just select two two things with like shifts uh, and selecting the second thing and now if i rotate that so as you can see my first things that i select will rotate from this object so you can use this thing and, uh, select first select the light and then select the q and now r and z and if i just rotate now as you can see the light is moving with the cube along a circle so that's how we can use that so there are a lot more options like uh, individual origin so uh, this option work like if we have if we have two objects and we want to scale both at the same time but if we are in median point as you can see it will scale like this but if you are in at individual you can just scale that individually okay so the next thing that i'm going to show you is the basic of editing editing objects so for example we have this cube and we can change the now we are in the object mode so we can select object but if you want to edit any of the objects as you can see here i am going to edit this cube so come up here and change this to edit mode so in edit mode we can actually change all these stuff so you can come up here to, uh, you can go to the edit mode by just tapping uh, the tab button so click on tab button and come up here to the object mode and you will come up here and you can also change this to edit mode so you get the edit mode and you can also switch from this side manually so in edit mode we have three different things so the first one is the vertex so we can select the vertex vertex are the corners of our cube or any object and the second thing is edge so you can select the edge and these things can be selected with the left click as we see in the start and this one is the face so we can select a face and the same things that <coughs> we do normally can be here is that with s we can just scale that and with the r we can actually rotate that and with the g we can actually scale that so these things can be applied here as well and same things can be do with the vertex so if we want to g and we can grab these vertex if we want it now i'm going to show you the different modes in blender like for example here we are in the solid view so we can see the things in solid like this gray structure but if you want to change we can just change that uh, by just coming up here here we have the uh, four things uh, the four modes that we can see the object so the first one uh, is the wireframe so in wireframe we see a uh, things like in wire it's really important because in some time if you are in edit mode uh, you can just select the things that are far behind from the front and you can select that with the one click and as you can see if we are in the object mode we can see this side so in wireframe we can actually easily select these things so the second one is the solid one that is the default one and the third one is the viewport shading so in viewport shading there is an automatically light and we can see the things with the light so the cube is now with white color and as you can see the exact white color and the next one is the rendering one which is the final one where we see our final product so you can uh, with this camera we will capture the things uh, after this but as you can see we have this light so this place is lighted and this place is dark because we have only light from this side so this shading was temporary it was the temporary light where we preview our object but the rendering one is the final one where we we will get the final output now let's talk about modifiers modifiers are the special effects that are happen to these objects that we have so for example we have this this cube and now come up here to this one uh, here is the modifier tab you can see all the modifiers here so there are like four main categories of 
modify generate deform and physics you can come up here to my youtube channel and you can see uh, where i explain all the modifiers so you can check that from that but here are some basics of that so the first one that we use a lot to deform our object to generate our object is that uh, subdivide or subdivision surface modifier so it's actually subdivide and smooth your surface so we can just see uh, you can here you can increase the levels and don't really increase it to like 10 or more because that can crash your PC so yeah because it really subdivide and it make it heavy so as you can see with this effect we just turn this one to a spare like this because it smooth it out and it subdivide the mesh one more modifier that i would like to show you is that solidify we use this for adding a thickness to it for example it's a plane so you can add some thickness to it and the third modifier that i want to show you is the array modifier so array is the uh, repeat re repeatable okay so array works for repeating your object for example we have this plan so we can repeat it in any count that we want it and we can also increase the distance in it so it's really helpful for generating this kind of array stuffs so now let's talk about materials and colors so if we select any of our object and let's delete this one and add an interesting one which is the monkey head i really love this one and we can come up here to the material tab and add a new material so with the new material you can just come up here to the there are a lot of stuff but uh, we will come up here to the best color and we can select any best color that we want it but the thing is that it not show here because we are in the solid view and as i discussed and start that in the solid view we only see the things in solid so we have to change that this to the viewport shading so in the viewport shading as you can see we can now see the things and you can change this color to any of the color and as you can see in the final one we will see something like this cause the light is from this side so that's why the front one is dark so let's just g and y to grab that to the front and as you can see how the things works now so this is how to add objects how to color objects and now the thing that is remain is the background color for example if you are in the rendering mode as you can see the background color is the gray but if you come up here to the word setting you can actually change this thing to any of the background color that you like or if you want to change you can just come up here to the color and make this a sky texture so in the sky texture as you can see we have this kind of sky and we can change the sunrise here the sun size here and the intensity that we have so you can make the intensity low and high the evolution of sun so it become day and night you can exit this one by just coming up here to the sky and remove that so we have the default one and now again you can add any color that you like so for the rendering we have this camera and with the number zero as you can see we can see into the camera and for the image render we can just uh, for the image output it's called the rendering in blender so if you f12 key so you can click an image here and if you want to save this image you can come up here image save as and you can save it to the any directory that you want it so for example if i do it in the desktop one let's make it monkey head and save this image and now if we come up here to the desktop as you can see i have this image so thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more